Hi guys, it's Music Clues here. Uh, finally got this out. Okay, so just a heads up, I mentioned some of the tracks wrong and so does Ethan, so just a heads up. Apologies, we were doing this very early in the morning when we recorded this, so apologies on both of our parts. Uh, also, uh, a heads up, when I do mention Mario Kart, uh, Air For Ship Fortress is for Mario Kart Wii, I actually meant to say Mario Kart 7. So apologies on that. Uh, I played a custom track version of it of it way back in the day. Uh, so yeah. But without further ado, as Nintendo Banny would say, let's -a go and enjoy the list. Hey guys, it's Music Clues here. Hey subscribers, it's Ethan here. And welcome to my Ethan's video of our top favorite and least favorite Mario Kart racing tracks and battle tracks. That's for Mario Kart. DS, Wii, 7, and Mario Kart 8 slash 8 Deluxe for those who are playing the Switch version. So, me and Ethan, I decided to redo this list because the uh, uh, original one wasn't getting too many views or clicks, so I thought, eh, let's redo it and remake it from scratch with our current chart maker style. So, um, we're going to be going to our least favorites first to get the rage out of the way. Yep. And then... We're going to go over our favorite tracks. Rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. Music goes goes first. Good. Better luck next time, bud. Okay. So, my least favorite tracks from... We're going to start with Mario Kart Wii. Uh, my least... Uh, now, I... Uh, it was the exception of eight, which has uh, f uh, five of favorite and least favorite tracks. The Mario Kart 7, Mario Kart Wii, and Mario Kart DS only have three. So just a heads up. Uh, but for Mario Kart Wii, we my third least favorite track, Rainbow Road! <laughs> I can't stand the Rainbow Road. I just can't. I just can't. <laughs> I actually have that on my list as well. Uh, the reason I hate it so much is because there's so many holes and so few barriers. Barriers on the curves. I can easily fall off and then I'll be coming into M. Ooh, it's like you fall off from space or something. Uh, I've died so many times. Uh, I've died so, uh, falling off so many times on that track. It's not even funny, and it doesn't help out, help with all the red shells and blue shells. I'm over the annoying Mario Kart player. So thanks a lot, Nintendo. Ooh, oh man, oh man, oh man. That's a lot of range, if you ask me. That's not even my top number one yet. Okay, number two is one of Ethan's favorites, but my least favorite, Grumble Volcano. <laughs> Let's just say the first lap is just like a normal lap, but then the second lap, the whole road starts falling apart. Ah! And then the third lap, I gotta try to avoid down the curves. I've fallen so many times into the lava in the Wii version, and I, then I get in last place because of it. I hate that track, I swear to it! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess I hate one of those reasons. Mm -hmm. I still can't believe he likes that track. Hey, 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 hey! You give up my... You give out already. All right, all right. Uh, uh, but yeah, that's the reason why I hate that track. And the music I can't stand, too! <laughs> all right, number one! Toad Fact Toad's Factory. <laughs> yeah, it, it, the rest of the factory doesn't bug me as much, although I could give a kill less to those pluses. Uh, reason why I hate, hate it is the mud part at the end. Unless you're using the boosters, they slow you down completely, and then people like pass you, pass you, pass you, and then you're stuck at the last place. And that's so sad. <sighs> The music's catchy, though. I'll give it that. But that's it! And the my part the end is the main reason why I hate that track. Mm-hmm. All right. You're all these favorite tracks now. All right, for the Wii. Okay, let's just start off with my top number three to number one to my list. All right, so my, not, not, my number three, it goes to... Uh, 
I'll be right back, folks. Go ahead and talk about your number three. And I'll go talk about, like, a few lists anyways. Okay, so uh, my top number three goes to Rainbow Road and me. Me and Kuzori actually definitely, definitely give a better amount of reasons why he hates that track. So I'm not going to repeat myself with this one. But I do agree with is that track is one of those tracks that a lot of people actually, actually really hated. I mean, sure, that soundtrack, soundtrack maybe sound attracting to those of you who actually like this game. But the problem with this one is, well, that's one of those tracks that you can get thrown off really easily. Easily, if you have. So, yeah. And that's all for my number three. Okay, let's give up my number two. While well, Miss Goose gets his own, get our own breakfast in the morning. So, my top number two goes to... Goes to... Ghost Valley 2. I, I think I recognize this track pretty well. Let's say that track is so weird that... That it's it's not even funny. Uh, Ghost Valley. Ah, oh, don't even get me started with this one, guys. Ah, uh, so you got your Rainbow Road Rage over with? Yes. Ah, uh, talking about Ghost Valley now. Yep. During our original recording, Ethan didn't like this track at all because it's so because uh, it's so easy to drive off. I believe. Yeah, and another thing, it's a shorter track, and you could just get you no. Know, even if though you think it's easy. Well, I don't know. You could just run into the wall, and sometimes you can fall easily, just like Rainbow Road. And that track is so devastating that you guys cannot under you cannot understand. If you like it, good for you. Mhm. Mm all right, and your least favorite track from me of all time is Boom View Highway. Well, let's just say problem is this one. There's like a lot of guys and traffic and traffic and traffic and you get crashed if you just run into them. You get squashed maybe like a pancake. Or even us, you will lose. You will definitely get hit. And that's the problem. It's like you're having a too much, too much uh, traffic in your own end. You have to dodge them. And that's not my favorite part of all. Yeah, I don't blame you, buddy. I don't blame you. Uh, I'll get this up in a minute minute for both of us. We got some fresh toast, toast. We're doing this in the morning, so my dad made us fresh toast for breakfast. But I'll get this up after we go over uh, the next set, which is our uh, least favorite DS tracks. I go with the D DS battle due to the fact that I haven't played this game that much. I did play, but I did not play that much. Yeah. So, uh, I'll go over my DS tracks so I can go back upstairs and get the seal for us. Uh, so, uh, uh, my third least favorite battle track is also Rainbow Road from that game. <laughs> I switch with Nintendo. Nintendo. I do not like the Rainbow Road in most game, uh, Mario Kart games. I won't lie, but that those two in particular, you know, from Wii and DS, just they infuriate me. I have to replay it again to see what it's like. Like, but I can tell you right now, the number one I can remember, I definitely do not like doing below from that game. It just makes me so mad. My second least favorite is Tick Tock Clock. Now, I haven't played the DS version, but I have played the Mario Kart 8 version of it, and I can tell you right now, why do people like this track? It's so annoying. Annoying. I hate the pendulum because it can slow you down so much if you're trying to boost with a mushroom. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And, and the fact that, well, it goes. The fact that uh, you ha have to avoid those spinning things near the end of the track. 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 You can easily fall off if you are not careful. Or if you don't have enough speed. Because they're a little bit apart. So. No offense, Nintendo, but bad track design in that part. And uh, my least favorite of all time in the S, Air Fortress. Ooh, why'd you put Air Tor Fortress as your top number one for this? Because the bullet bills at the beginning of this track. They can destroy you, literally destroy your lead. Oh, boy. And on top of that, top of that, they bought it back in Mario Kart Wii. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Nintendo? Why'd you do this? Mm, I don't know. They just feel like it, I guess. Well, I didn't feel like it. Thanks, 
Thanks, Nintendo. I hate, hate Wii a little bit more because of that track coming back. But I still like it. Uh, but, yeah, those are my least favorite tracks from DS. All right, why don't you go over your least favorite uh, battle tracks, and I'll go get us some maple syrup. All right, can you get that guy? Shifting. Thank you. Alright, so for my top number two for this is goes to for the Nintendo DS battle goes to Twilight House. Uh, okay, how do I put this? Okay, so for that uh, for that uh, track I remember, it was so bad. It's so weird that you have to rent you have to know what you're going and that some of it is just and also it has like a creepy theme in there and Ugh. Like I said, I, I haven't played so long that I can remember, guys. But I can tell you this, though, that that track is, like, not one of my favorites to to the exact point that I don't get why uh, people just, just actually... I don't know if a lot of people actually like it or not. So, to be fair, that track is not one of my favorites. And uh, did you talk about your number one? I was gonna get to that right now, actually. All right, here, here's the knife and fork, and here's your hand. Thank you. All right, and what's your top number one, bud? I'll give this top number one. Actually, goes to Nintendo DS. Isn't that weird? You have to have a DS on the on the soundtrack and on, on that track. I have a reason why I hate this one so much because, well. It's a, it's actually actually like a DS, and plus you get uh, sometimes you actually it's so small that it's actually so easy you can actually get hit by items so quick, and that's so so fear. It's so frustrating. Don't blame me. I bet you for that bad memories of that one. Oh, I hated that track so much. I I'm sorry, guys. If those of you really like that track, good for you. I feel like that's a sequel to the GameCube version of the track from Double Dash. Ah, come on, guys. I swear, if you do a Switch version for Mario Kart 9, mm, I'm going to have a bunch of words with you, Nintendo. And not all of them are going to be nice. Oh, I think that's going to be like one of the Rage videos. Oh, no doubt. All right, next up, Mario Kart 7, which is... My least favorite in the series. It goes up to you, man. All right. So my third least favorite is Wario, Wario Shipyard, or for those who live in Europe, Wario's Galleon. The reason I hate that track so much is it's mostly underwater for Pete's sakes, Nintendo. Don't you know I hate underwater stages? <sighs> whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, man. It's like, it's like you're not happy too much. Oh, no, 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 no. The fact that this stage takes place mostly underwater is the main reason why I hate the track. Track. I don't mind underwater sections that much, but only if it's part of the track. Track. Not the whole thing. Mm. Thing. Thing. Even, uh, 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 uh Dolphin Shores from Mario Kart 8 has less underwater than this. I get ya. Uh, my second least favorite is Coconut Mall from the 3DS. Main reason why I hate this one is because of the graphics, unfortunately. I don't not mind either version, but Coconut Mall is still not one of my favorites from Mario Kart Wii. We, it just feels a little too, uh, how do I say it, crowded, to say the least. Mm. And no, there's not people actually in the mall. Don't worry. I don't think Nintendo will make it that difficult. Yeah, so I say, I mean, that track sure is really good back then. Well, a lot of people actually like it, but... I get what you're saying. I mean, yeah, that track is actually really good if if you know what you're doing, that is. Yeah. And my number one least favorite, which is one of Ethan's favorites again, is Neo Bowser City. The reason is, I can't take the curves on that one. Whoa. I don't know how he does it. I seriously don't know how he does it. Now, I'll give the music something, but that's it. <laughs> and for that stage... Stage. And I'm not very, very happy that you bought back in eight, eight Nintendo, so watch your step at next time, would ya? Mm hmm. Uh, alright, now your turn, Ethan. My top number three, I have for my card seven. I give this one to the Super NES Rainbow Road. Ah, I hated this track so much, it's just not even funny. 
let's just say, even if the music sounds catchy, but the problem with this one is, what if you actually ran into a stumps, and, and then you have to worry about that, I worry about the whole, whole track going, woo, 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 woo. I don't know if I'm right or right. Um, that's, um, that's not the complete case, case really, but that is the case, case for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, for sure. Hmm. Uh, also, no barriers at all on the track. So if you fall off, we'll say goodbye to first place. Mm. It's only depending how far you go. Very true, very true. But still, I don't think even was happy that they bought it back. I still don't like that track, unfortunately. Those of you who like it, good for you. All right. All right. Number two. And mm. I think I'm going to have to agree with this one for sure. My top number two goes to DS Luigi's Mansion. Well, let's just say the problem with this one is there is a music that just sounds creepy. But another thing I hate is there is some parts I just dislike is sometimes you could run into like mud and um and also objectives right in front of you. <sighs> so stupid why Tendo brought this back. Why? <laughs> yeah, I don't blame Ethan. I didn't like the mud part either. Either that one, that one at least in seven, seven you still have glider, so you could just fly over most of it. But still, Nintendo not giving you a slide for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think next time don't bring that back. And if you do one more time, Nintendo, woo, that video incoming. Mm -hmm. A short one, but still. Alright, and your top least favorite track. It goes to Rainbow Road. Yes, the Mario Kart 7 Rainbow Road, that is. I don't know if I remember right, <clears throat> but this has been a while again. I, it's been a while I played the game. So, with uh, this this track I have a problem with is that's, that track is just so devastating that it's not even funny. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure why even doesn't like it that much. I don't mind it. I love the music from it too. Not like everybody else, though. So, though I'm not that big and crazy on uh, my that seven, seven rainbow world music. But uh, other than that, I think it's actually one of the most unique rainbow worlds we've seen in the series. But hey, each to their own. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. I, it's been a while again. It's been a while I play the game, so. Yeah, I don't get it. Alright, now it's time for Mario Kart, Kart 8. I'll let Ethan go first. Mm-hmm. Since you tuned that, that, uh... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright, for my top five, this one goes to Bowser's Castle. Ugh. Bowser's Castle? Like, what is this? What do you have to, what do you have to put it in there, guys? Why'd you do that? It's so bad that it's like, it's not even funny. And sometimes you see that when Bowser try to punch the track, he's like, Urgh! and then sometimes you can actually get hit by it. Yeah. I didn't think that was going to be your favorite part of the track. Also, the lava spewing, too. It's not even funny, guys. Why did you do this? <laughs> That's so bad. It's just, why did you do this? Tender, why? Guess they just like their time. Mm. They just do, I guess. Alright, for my top number four, this one goes to Toads to Turn Pike. Ah, uh, that track. Again, there's too much traffic once again. Oh, of course, you could go right on the wall there, but I still dislike this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for those who are wondering, that's from the N60, uh, Toast Turn Pike's from the N64, I forgot to add that one to Ethan's list. But, uh, yeah, I don't blame Ethan. Ethan, it's better than Move You Highway, but not by much. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, at the same time, I mean, I agree with that, but at the same time, this war here, I don't know, guys. I just, for some reason, it's so strangely, I hate the tracks with the traffic on it. That's not surprise. Everybody does. Yeah, so I don't like this one. All right, number three. Again, this is from, like, the last list from Mario Kart 7. My top number three goes to 
Super NES Rainbow Road once again. That's the fourth time Nintendo's brought this back. Fourth time for Pete's sake. When I was revealed the, the, for the Wii U, US DLC, I was like, seriously, Nintendo, why'd you bring this trash track back again? That's the fourth time. Oh, I'm guessing that's Tendo's favorite Rainbow Road, I guess. If that's a favorite, I hate to see what the least favorite is. Uh, I don't know, guys. I, I really don't know why you have to do that. It's just so bad. Like, you have to run through stumps and you have to, like, worry about the wobbly track. And it's actually much more easier to fall off if you know what you're doing. Yeah, unfortunately. And it's not boost friendly either, so watch if you're using any drips. And plus, I had to tolerate that, that there were some stumps in there. I had to tolerate this track, unfortunately. And I don't like tolerating this. There, there, buddy, there, there. <laughs> At least you aren't alone on Super NES Slam Alone. Most of the community hates it, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like I said, at least the music is catchy. Yeah, but that's about all I'm going to give that one. All right, number two. And I'm pretty sure you know this one. This one, actually, really, I give, give, give it to is Twisted Mention. And there's a reason to it. I hate that soundtrack. Ah, that soundtrack is so bad. And also it sounds creepy. But another thing is, is some soundtracks are just actually the tracks I saw in the game. It's so weird. You have to put a water right next to like one path there and then the other. It's so, so weird. I don't get, get, get that track. I really don't get that tra track at all. Uh. Oh, if you want to hear why you put some music, all right, I'll play it. But you might want to plug your ears, buddy. Mm-hmm. Hi. Okay. Hey, uh, that should be enough. Ah, man. <laughs> Can you see why he been hated that much now? I don't blame him. All right, number one. Oh, by the way, you might want to dodge if you're a Smash fan. Just saying. Or F Zeros. Oh, F Zero. Ah, I have a reason why I gotta put this as my top number one. For my darn reasons. Goes to Mute City. Ah. Why'd you do this? Please! You're putting me like, you bring me memories back from Smash Bros. Why'd you do this? Sorry, buddy. I don't think you can dodge that one. <laughs> sure I can, but that's for the FCU fans. I get you guys love this track, but at the same time, why'd you do it? It's like, it's like, you're putting like too much FCU fans hype. And for me, nope. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that soundtrack is kind of, well, I mean, I gotta admit, it's really good, the outside. But the inside, in my, in my heart, it just brings me memories back from that Smash Bros. trailer. I'm sorry, guys. That's just bought me memories, okay? <laughs> and that's what happens when it, when this, this pops up. And I dislike it for that reason. Reason alone. <laughs> there, there, buddy. There, there. All right. Right. Now, now, you should have your least favorite battle tracks. I sent that to you, too. Mm -hmm. uh, for, Mario Kart, for Mario Kart 8. Scroll down. It should be there. Mm-hmm. It's right there. All right. So, least favorite battle tracks... I think you 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 haven't gotten to your number a uh, year right there. All right, all uh, right. So my least favorite battle tracks number three, Luigi's Mansion. Whoa, whoa, whoa. you already mentioned a one right here. Oh, oh, right, right. I gotta <clears throat> get to those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, forget what he says in that one, guys. Sorry. Okay. So my least fa favorite bass tracks first. Uh, number five, Crumble Volcano. Again, I don't get why even likes this track so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's so flint infuriated. I don't think I need to repeat myself from what I said earlier, though. <laughs> Just why, Nintendo? Why'd you bring that one back for eight? Seriously, dude? Uh, but number four, four, side GameCube fans, is, is on top of my hate of, already hate of Double Dash. Content's great, but again, 
anyways, uh, number four, Shebet, uh, GSN, Shebetland. I hate the ice and snow when on stage. It slows your car down if you don't have off road wheels. I swear to it. Ugh. Oh, yeah. And the fact that there are shot guys near the beginning of the track also also annoys me a little. Mm -hmm. No joke. So, yeah. Sorry, guys. Not giving you a slide on that one. Also, another one that I'm probably going to get a lot more hate boy. GSN Baby Park. Ooh. Okay, I got a question. Why do you hate this track? So short. <laughs> so, so short. Eight, I mean, there's seven laps. I get it. But still, so short. And it's easy to get hit by items in this one. I, I didn't show you guys like it that much. Not against you. But, uh, I, I just don't like it. The music catchy, I will give it that. But that's about it for this track. Mm hmm Yeah, it's kind of like the, the, the DS battle mode. Like, Nintendo DS line. <laughs> yep, basically, my equivalent of that. Uh, but, number two, Wario's Gold Mine. Oh, that I don't blame you. I'm not a huge fan of this track, <laughs> if I'm being honest. The reason is... Why'd you bring that one back to Nintendo? Why? It's easy to fall off near the track's beginning. Not to mention, there's bats flying around. Around near, near certain parts of the track. <sighs> oh, and I mentioned if you're trying to go on the, the upper path, there's a very good chance of you falling down. Yikes. <sighs> Just, uh, why, Nintendo? Why'd you bring it back? Like, it's so crazy. Uh, and number one, agreed with Ethan, Bowser's Castle. <laughs> I don't think I need to repeat anything Ethan said about that one, though. Oh, yeah, just, uh, Nintendo, if you de you better make sure that Mario Kart 9's Battle Castle is Bowser's Castle is much different than 8's, or otherwise I'm going to go in map mode even more. And that will hurt. Uh, all right. On the bright side, at least he didn't bring back any Bowser ca castles from GBA again, so that's thankful, but still. Mm hmm. All right, now, uh, now for the battle tracks. Number three for me. Oh, wait, I thought we we're gonna go to our favorite tracks. Uh, no, least favorite battle tracks. Okay. Okay, so number three for me Luigi's Mansion. I think this is from the all from eight. Uh, yes, this all, uh, the battle tracks are all from eight. Just want to be sure. Okay, so my least favorite battle track tra 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 is Luigi's Mansion for me. That's one from the GameCube version. Nintendo, it's bad enough, enough that you did DS. DS for 7. But why did you bring, bring another Luigi's Mansion back from 8? Ah, it's just so boring. It's easy to get hit, too. Mm -hmm. Not to mention if you're playing Renegade right Roundup, they can easily catch you. Oh, big time. <laughs> Just why, Nintendo? Why? Yeah, I don't blame you. Uh, number two. two. Sorry, buddy. Woohoo town! Mm. <sighs> yeah, that one, unfortunately, I, I like that one for sure. Uh, the reason why I hate it so much is it's a little too big for my liking. I mean, I get get it's supposed to be chaotic, but it just feels a little too big. I guess you could say say. I mean, it's still it's good for Renegade Roundup. I'll give it that, but for Balloon Battle, not so much. <laughs> so that's the reason why I hate. And number one, Dragon Palace. Ethan said he was neutral on this one, though. Mm hmm. Uh, the reason I hate it so much is, well, it's not that it's too small, it's just that it's red shell territory, in my opinion. It's easy to get hit by those red shells if you don't know what you're doing. And if you're facing against hard CPU. Ooh, that's tough. All right, now for Ethan's least favorite. Alright, for my top number three, actually it's the same thing as musicals. We just mentioned. I don't think I, I don't think I need to repeat too much as musical said. <laughs> I don't think so. Number two, 
And sorry if you're watching this, Starlight. <laughs> this one, unfortunately, is maybe my, your favorite track. I don't know. But this might attach to your fair character, you know what? But I'll say anyway. This is my top second is Luminar Comedy. Uh, so for some strange reason, guys, I hated this one because uh, it's just too long. And there's like a few ways to get out of that one place and... I thought you also said it was too lumpy, too. Yeah, 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 you got the right picture. Yeah, yeah. it is kind of a little too lumpy that you have to go for, like, one of those boom parts. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know I'm going to like this track so much. And number one will be a shocker to a lot of you. Get ready. This might be a shocker. I'll say it anyway. I right, my top of the one goes to Battle Stadium, unfortunately. The reason why I hated Battle Stadium is, let's just say, one thing I don't get is, why do you, why do you have to make those weird, weird, weird platform this one, guys? It's too weird for my liking. Yeah, I'm a neutral on that one. That one, just like Ethan is with, uh... uh Dragon Palace. Dragon Palace, so I guess right back at, at, at him. <laughs> but either way, I don't blame him. Blame him, though. Track shape is kind of weird, so... Yeah, I sort of don't like that track, if I'm being honest. Sorry if I if I actually... That's all I can give it. Yep. All right, now we're moving on to our favorite tracks. <laughs> okay, so... Favorite track, uh, I'll go first this time. Wait, no. Did I go first last time? Uh, you mean for, like, which ones? The least fa for the least favorites. I think, yeah, I think you did. Okay, then I'll let Ethan start with his favorite tracks. Alright, so, this will, this will be a shocker for all of you for my number three. And this is going to be like, ah! I can see him raging right now after this. <laughs> Alright, get it over with. <laughs> For my number three, I give it to Gold Volcano. Ah! See? He did already. <laughs> I don't get why he likes this track, I swear. Hey, 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 hey. You haven't given me you haven't given me evidence evidence yet. Okay, okay, okay. Go uh, ahead. The evidence I can say is that track, oh that soundtrack, it's beautiful! For those of you who actually love it, I mean, I don't know why people love the soundtrack, but I just say that soundtrack is so good to me. And also, the turns. Oh, I can just turn like on one spot. It's not even funny. I can just turn almost like one whole, one whole spot. It's not even funny. And I'm really liking it. It's so much fun. <laughs> <sighs> and plus, eh, I don't think a lot of you just noticed that, like, like, you don't even get ran right into those those little fire thingies. <laughs> As you can tell, Ethan chooses this sometimes when we'll play Mario Kart 8 just to annoy me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you'll get annoyed when I do Mute City, so touche. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that next time. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Uh, all right, number two. And this is actually a shared opinion, in my opinion, but I'll explain mine when I talk about it. Mine is, my stop number two goes to Mushroom Gorge. Oh, oh man. man, I love this one. Ah, uh, they need to bring this back for the next Mario Kart, man. Oh, I know, right? Please, Tendo. If you're listening to this video, please bring this bring this stage back, because I already love this track since this era. Oh, me too. I'm glad they brought that back in uh, 7. Reason why me and Ethan like it so much? Well, you could probably guess why Why they call it Mushroom Gorge. They had too much mushrooms. It's so bouncy. It's just so fun. It's like a lot of overrated, overrated track, but I like it anyway. Me too. And you can do tricks on it too, which is my favorite part. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Alright, and your top number one is Yoshi Falls. Oh man, that Yoshi Falls is so beautiful, it's not even funny. It has a beautiful environment in that one. Uh, unfortunately, though, it's an underrated opinion because that game is hated in Diaz and, uh, uh, and uh, Wii. Unfortunately, it's, uh, I also did see Nathaniel Vandy, one of my favorite YouTubers, do it for his top, uh, top least favorite, uh, worst Mario Kart tracks. 
Yeah, and unfortunately, not a lot of people like it in general, so you're all alone on that one, bud. Mm, I get it. It's because people just try to get their shortcuts. Guys, this is not how you do this, uh, those tracks. If you if you have, like, a mushrooms or something, you could do that. But if you don't do it without the mushroom, that's why you hate it so much because of that. And I can prove it to you right there. <laughs> Whoa, buddy. Don't get too overproductive there. <laughs> but I understand why you like Yoshi Falls so much. much. And you said the music, too. Yeah. All right. So now for my favorite tracks. Number three, Maple Tree Way. Oh, my gosh. I just love the music from that one. I'm glad they brought that one back in 7-2. Oh, that's like, oh, my... Oh, man, 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 man. Just one of my favorites. Just one of my favorites. <sighs> Uh, and also the environment is like fallish, fallish. I like how the leaf piles can either show mushrooms or banana peels, which is going to be a bad thing, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yes, uh, that, uh, uh, Maple Tree Way is one of my favorites from Mario Kart Wii. Number two, I don't think I need to explain it again, but Mushroom Gorge. Again, just bouncing on the mushrooms, and the music from that game is just so catchy, too. I just love that one so much. And number one, I'm not sure if this one's in the game, if I'm correct. GameCube Mario Circuit. I might be the uh, uh Super NES version, just in case. But either way, uh, one of those two is my favorite track because... Well, let's just say, say, uh, hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and look it up to be safe. Oh, okay. Before I before we continue, Ethan's gonna look it up for me just to be safe. Okay, is that for the Wii version? Yes. All right, we'll see if that's true or not. Let's see. Unless if you mean. Okay, I don't know that it does have a GameCube version. Uh, scroll, uh, go back a little bit, bit with your search. Uh, and type in GameCube. Yeah, see if that works out. Alright, if, if it isn't true, then, alright. Hmm. It's hard to tell from here, unfortunately. Unless if you're meaning this one. Yep. Oh, uh, I guess you got it right, it looks like. Yeah! Okay, I thought I was right. But I just wanted to double check. So yes, GameCube Circuit, uh, the GSN version of Mario Circuit from uh, Mario Kart Double Dash. Oh my gosh, I just love the music from that one. And features Castles in that one too. Which is a reference to 64. Mm-hmm. So, pretty awesome. Alright. Mario Kart DS. Ethan's up first. On the D and, uh, I'm mostly, again, this is for battles because I didn't play so much on that game, unfortunately. So I'll just go ahead and say the first second and then the top one. So for my for my second one goes to Palm Shore. Palm Shore. Oh man, that place I remember. Oh, that was one of those fun tracks that you actually just ran it like in the water and the sand and that track. It just looks beautiful. It looks it just looks beautiful to me. I had a feeling that was going to be the case why you liked it. And you're number one. Let me see. I'm going to have to get to that track because it's been a while. I remember that track, but I'll go ahead. And I know that track is just, I mean, to look at it to be safe. I'm right or wrong or something. So I, I, can, I can say my number one goes to Tartop. Mm -hmm. That sounds delicious right about now. Speaking of delicious. The only thing I like about it is you can actually go right through the center and go for like boosting in the air. It's so much fun. I think that's one of those tracks I like. And oh boy, that track was like memorable track to me. I don't blame blame you, buddy. I don't blame you. I bet the music was good too. All right, now I've actually played a little bit of Mario Kart DS. Not as much as he, uh, not as much as even with the battle mode. So <clears throat> mine will be the race track. So, from the racetrack side of things, my top three would be figure eight track. Reason is, well, I do like going in a set, uh, figure eight. And it's say, don't be late. 
<laughs> sorry, I can't help it. So I see uh, two to side one is just too catchy. Anyways, wait. Uh, the music for that one is sketchy too, and it's a very simple track to start out with. I know, but eh, hey, I like simple. <laughs> uh, number f two. Oh, it was a tie between Mario Circuit or DK Pass. Uh, I can't choose. On the one hand, Mario Circuit from that game is thumbs up. On the other hand, though, DK Pass. Uh, I like the snowy environment in that one. Of course, I do don't mind uh, DK Pass and Mario Kart. We either, yeah, we either, and that one's catchy, catchy, especially the music. Do 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 do. Sigh. Uh, but anyways, uh, those are the reason the reason those two are tied is just because I can't decide whether I like the track or the music. Music for both both better, so the tie. Uh, but number one, I've not played this track yet, but I have heard the music. That's why it's my number one. It's Shroom Range. Oh my gosh, the music for this uh, track is. I'm surprised it's so underrated. Later, I haven't seen in another Mario Kart. Such a shame. Such an underrated track, it seems. Well, if I do play it, I'll see why people like it so much. But the music definitely for it is super catchy. Uh, alright. Now for Favorites from 7. Ethan again first. And since this is his first game, get a f uh, first game from 3DS, he probably has a lot of memories of this. Sure. Okay, so for my number 3, the music goes is gonna go nuts once again because he already give it out for his least favorite. I'm fortunate that I don't get it, but I do get it, but I don't get it at the same time. So, my number three, I give it to New Bowser City. <laughs> yeah, see? He goes like that again. I really don't get why he likes this track, but alright, show me evidence. Okay, so the only thing I can tell you is the soundtrack Oh, come on now. That sounded good. I don't think it's that terrible. I'll give you the soundtrack, that's for sure. That one did sound good. Okay, so the only thing that you've probably been turned off is because you don't know how to turn on the curb. That's probably why. Yep. And and also, I know how to do it, unfortunately, because I do the best. Like I do the best with drips all the time, and I think that's, that track is just so so good, it's just not even fun. And even the environment of the game is just, just magnificent. It's so good. Uh huh, uh huh. Whatever. All right, number two. I give this one to Mushroom Gorge. Once again. Yeah, obviously, I don't think we need anything to reiterate why we like it so much. Mm hmm. And your yeah, number one is. Donkey Kong Jungle. Uh, neutral on that one, that one, unfortunately. But why do you like it? Well, let's say the, there was like a, several parts I like. It was the gliding part. Oh, the gliding part is very fun. I say the gliding part was really fun, in my opinion. <laughs> I can see why you like it so much, then. And the rest of it, I don't mind. But this is the reason why I like this one. It's just because the gliding part, if you guys really want to see this part... Right, we'll give it to you. Thankfully, it's from the uh, GameCube. But, uh, it thankfully came back in Mario Kart 8, so here's the Mario Kart 8 version. <laughs> Can you see why he likes it now? Yep. <laughs> but he was glad that one came back in Mario Kart 8. Ah. Yep. All right. Now on to to my favorites from seven. So, oh, uh, for number three, three, it's Piranha Plant Slide. Oh, I just love the underground environment in that game. And, uh, and the music, is, especially the music, is very catchy. It's kind of a remix of the over Overworld theme from Super Mario Bros. and the underground theme. Uh, it goes, do 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 da do 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 da do 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 <laughs> I just love that track. I'm glad it came back back in Mario Kart 8. Thank you, Nintendo. I l love you for that. <laughs> Doesn't make up for the fact that you back up. Bump back to bed. Yeah, slay your load. Uh, uh, but yeah, that's the uh, that's the main reason I like the track. The atmosphere and the music. Uh, but the se second one, obviously, I'm called 
music clues. So, uh, again, again, like I said before, uh, my second favorite is Music Park. The reason is, I like how you can go on the pianos with that one. Because you don't know what I'm talking about, here's, again, the eight footage of it. See why I like it? <laughs> I just love music going on that piano. I like the way it, go it goes along with the music, too. Ah, so much fun to do. do. And my number one is Woohoo Loop. Now, it's not the track itself because it's pretty long and it's actually not one whole loop, unfortunately. But, well, not one whole lap each, unfortunately. But it still is a pretty good track because it has a remix of one of my favorite Wii games, Wii Sports Resort. Mmm, okay. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you, Nintendo. Alrighty uh, then. And now it's time to move on to uh, Mario Kart 8 tracks. And like I said before, there's five tracks. Acts for this one, as well as three of our favorite battle tracks from that game. And then at the end, we will go real quickly over the battle mo modes we like and dislike from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe as well. Alright, so, Ethan first. Alright, so, for my top number five, I'm gonna give this track to Moo Moo Malo. Yep, and that one is from Mario Kart Wii, but even likes the 8 version for uh, more because. The, the the graphics obviously does look good in that time, but I don't mind graphics. At the same time, I say that part has like a one good part was you can actually just glide all over the tracks. That was a good part. Good part, then, nope. <laughs> yeah, and the fa fact that it takes the, uh, it takes place uh, during during the mid morning or mid afternoon, if it said it was one of the most masterpiece tracks. Yep, that's right. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, okay, number four. Go ahead. This one, I'm going to give this one to... New Bowser City. Ah! <laughs> I think I already... Re I already don't want to repeat myself with this one, guys. <laughs> you think? All right. Number three, I can agree with, though. The number three I had here is Excite Bike Arena. Oh, I love this track. It's not on my list, unfortunately, because I didn't love it enough. But mm -hmm. I do definitely love it if we're talking just the DLC tracks that came back. Uh, uh, just the DLC tracks on, well, 8, eight Wii U. Uh, but <laughs> seriously, though. So, why do you like this track so much? That track is just so, so good. And also, you get like have the turns on there. It's just so good. Uh, and the jump in the music as well. And there's, there's hills in there, and you can do so many tricks off of them. And that was cool. Ah, uh, I don't blame you. All right, number two. All right, all right, all right. This might be another rage going. Get ready. All right, number two. I give it to Global Volcano. Ah! <laughs> I think I I think there is actually a gliding one this time than uh than the Wii version. <laughs> uh, uh, seriously, I don't get why he likes this track. <laughs> uh, even more more so than Neil Bowser City. And that's coming from me. Alright. Now even how at a tie between the DLC and a new track from that came with the game originally. So, uh, what's your favorite DLC track that's number one on your list? Mine, I actually give it to My Rule Circuit. Oh, oh I don't blame you. Oh, High Rule Circuit is so good. Mm hmm. Why do you like it so much? That track sure has to put a little attachment to like a Zelda, Zelda. Um, uh, futures in there like Reppies and also a little bit of the like a master sword in the middle. Oh, that, was, that was good. That was good. Uh, in the music too. It was a great remix. Well, until High Warriors came around. That is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, that's the reason. That's the reason why I even likes that track. And his favorite new track that came with the game was Matt Wario. Yep, that was 
that was actually really good. And that was like, oh, I like the part. Like, it's like it's it's like you're doing this skiing like in the Winter Olympics. Oh yes, I do like I do like like the fact that the whole track is like you're skiing in the Winter Olympics, but Mario Kart style. Yep, exactly. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, now your three favorite battle tracks. All right, let's get this over with. All right, so for my for my number three. Uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna give this one to Wow Wow Wu Tao. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> uh, let's just say that one. It's so so good. It's just oh man. It's like it's like you don't have to worry about anything. It hits you if you know what you're doing. And also, you can get through the basketball hoops. It's it's good. Hey, they stick it this way. At least I didn't put it in number one, did I? Uh, I guess I should be thankful. All right, number two. Might shock a couple of you, though. This one I have here. I give this one to Battle Course 1. Uh, <laughs> why do you like it so much, buddy? That one? Oh, oh. I see this one. It looks pretty fun to me. I had a feeling, and it's the and it's a perfect balance of getting hit with items and uh, not getting hit. So I gotta say it's pretty cool, and there's a glider section too. Yep, that was pretty fun, <laughs> and it's also fun to do in Lightning Gate Roundup too. Yep. All right, and your number one favorite that goes to Green Underpass. Uh, it's Urgent Underpass, but I get your point. That one is based off of a uh, actual. Sp uh, that was actually based off of the original Splatoon map. That's from Splatoon 1, actually. Yep. And why do you like it so much? Oh, that track. Oh, man. And it just bought, like, a future, a f like, future of the Splatoon style, and that was pretty good. This is, reminds me, like, from the Splatoon 1 I remember playing behind Global Test Fire. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That was one of the Global Test Fire, uh, Fire Battle Stages. I remember that. Oh, it was so much fun, though, to play. play, play, And it brought back a remix of the original, which is why I like it so much. Yep. Well, original mix, even that is. But, uh, uh, yeah. So, now it's time for my favorites. All right, so number five, a little slightly annoying, but not too much. It's Big Blue. Mmm, yeah, the reason why I'm not that annoyed a little bit, again, hey, hey. But, like I said, I wouldn't have this one than a Mute City. <laughs> reason is, remixes and those overused. Yes. Uh, and also, the reason why I like this track is because, well, I just like the fact that you're racing on walls and all that. All that. And even when you get to the third, third lap, since it's just a straight line, I, it says, <clears throat> the final lap! Mm-hmm. Uh, but, yeah. I really, 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 really do like the fact that they brought back, brought back that part for Mario Kart 8. So, thank you, Nintendo. I really like, like, like that one. And the remix for that one, too. It goes right up there with all the other uh, big blue remixes, I bet. All right. So, number four. A tie between my two favorite 3DS stages. Uh, about... Uh, Music Park and Planet Flat Side. I don't think I need to re explain those two. Number three, though, N64 Royal Ace Lane. Oh my gosh, the music for that is just so catchy. I really like the fact that, even though I don't like the color pink, it does look very pretty. I mean, and there's Princess Locals all around, and we get to see Peach's Castle, too. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, man, oh man. This track is absolutely beautiful. Nintendo outdid themselves with this one. Mm -hmm. Number two. Not, not surprised, Toad Harbor. Oh, oh man, the music for this one just, oh man, it's just so relaxing. Mm -hmm. uh, and the fact, and it's basically, uh, Ethan said it was San Francisco. Yes. Mario, uh, and I said, San Francisco, Mario style. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, I definitely love this track. And my number one, Mario Kart Stadium, recent is music. Graphics, everything about it is just perfect, perfect, perfect. Sums up Mario Kart in st about three words and words of fact. <laughs> so 
Yeah. Okay. Now my three favorite battle tracks. Again, like Ethan, it's in on the past. Don't need to. I think I need to be explain that one. Number two. Yeah, even on the neutral zone with this one. Yep. Sweet, sweet kingdom. I have a reason I'm neutral. Yep. Uh, but I like sweet, sweet kingdom because it makes me hungry just thinking about it. Mm, yeah, I mean, sure, it may be like you look like you're actually want to eat something, <laughs> but to me, though, the whole track is just kind of eh to me. Yeah, wha well, whatever, buddy. Your, your choice, not mine. Uh, and number one is Ethan's least favorite, Battle Stadium. Mm, again, I honestly don't get it, but okay. Uh, the reason why I like this track is because, oh, the music is absolutely great. I will agree, the track design is a bit weird, but hey, I've seen weirder from Nintendo, trust me. Just like a Warrior Stadium, made them from GSN. And then you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Now, real quickly, the battle most Mario Kart 8. Balloon Battle, obviously, is a love from both of us. But Bomb Blast, though! Yeah! Yeah, I think I don't get why people bring that back. Yeah, basically, it's Balloon Battle, but just with bombs, 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 bombs! I don't get it, Nintendo. Why'd you bring that one back from Double Dash? It's Double Trash! Oh, ooh, the Game GameCube fans are gonna go at you for it. Yeah, do do what you want, guys, guys, but you have to hashtag deal with it. Ooh. <laughs> All right, and obviously the next one, Sun uh, Shine Thief. Yeah, it's a set close third place for us. These are why I say close third place because we're not to the other ones yet. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me see. The next one after that is Renegade Roundup. Now that one is my Ethan's close second favorite. Ah, yep, that was good. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I just loved uh, capturing people. Of course, I don't like being the one getting captured when it's the Renegade's turn. <laughs> uh, and you had to play in teams for this. No solo play, sadly. Yep. So it's kind of like Shocks and Middles. Yeah. Uh, but. Yeah, those are why we like those tracks. As for any wishes for what we want in Mario Kart 8 to come back, one, I mean, uh, Mario Kart 9 to come back, one quick thing. Bring back Funky Stadium for me, please! Oh, come on, man. That looks fun. Oh, I love doing tricks in that one. That was so much fun to do. It's fun, 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 fun. <laughs> uh, that's the only, my only wish for the next battle mode, Nintendo. <laughs> uh, those of you who already know what I'm, I did that for, it was fun. Tigger from me. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Uh, but, uh, yeah, seriously, bring that one back. But if you do just do tracks again like you did with 8, eight on Wii U, Nintendo, me and Ethan are out. Out. Uh, out. You hear me? O-U-T. Out. Yep. All right. That's all for now, guys. Thank you for tuning in to this remake of our top favorite Wii, D, uh, Wii DS 7 and 8 Deluxe tracks. Mm-hmm. There's For now, this is DJ Music Clues. Ethan, signing out. And y'all have a nice gaming day.